Alright, we got the boys here at uh, Rick's farm and um, we're going to head out down to get the airplane, bring it up here, where we're going to do the work. April 10th, 2023 out here at uh, Cap 9 and uh, we're just going to get the airplane out to do some work and measuring up to, to replace the hangar floor. Where are you going up? 45, 45, 45 piece of 45. So that's 45 to the back wall. And the winch cable is 50. Okay. All right. The before and after the floor, huh? Yeah. We need to. Yeah, we gotta fix that floor. Okay, that's great. You're supposed to train how you fly and fly on the train. But it's anywhere from five to five two to degrees off. Five to one here. Oh, no, 210 is 210. Yeah. 240 is 240. So five to zero then. Oh, five to zero. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the bottom ones. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all the way. Shaw Air. <laughs> Shaw Air. Yeah. You should get a deco put on there. Clear. One hand on the throttle, one hand on the starter. Release the starter when it fires. Pulling the uh, 170 out so we can put our Citabri inside. Nice to have this facility here. Fuel test. Nice. In the sunlight, there we go. So, yeah, good. Good. Just to show you, I mean, the debris is one thing that you're hoping to get all cleared out. Yeah. But what you're really looking for is water. Yeah. Because you're parking the steam air, the water shouldn't be in the sea. What's this? Okay. I have tons of this food. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just going to grab you a tray. We have is that going for? Good. I'm going to go to the other side. Here. All right. <clears throat> so draining the fuel out. What? Or you're you trying to force it up this way? Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to get one of that bubble. Capture the reservoir leakage. Uh, it just comes out around the seal around the top of the reservoir. And okay, there we're good. Well, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Rob. Pump it. Okay, we've leveled the airplane. We're finishing draining the rest of the fuel. It's leveled. We've lifted it up here. And there goes the fuel. Draining. Yeah, so we get the wings level. And there it is. Rotation. 
and no light. What if you put the ground wire? Trying to troubleshoot the anti collision light. Hmm. There you go, light. There you go. Okay, all you need is a bulb. Nope. Nope. No. Keep trying. So this is the seat thing, and the, and what makes it slide back yeah. and forth it's are just, these things. It's just doing this, it's just moving back and forth. So the idea may be to, so yeah, so when it's on there, that's what makes it slide. So the solution may be to do what? To either sew these back a little bit, sew them back here somewhere. Okay. Because then it'll be further ahead, even when there's it's forward like this. Yeah. Like we got, we got. Okay. Quite a so there's of, a, there's, there's travel and it says it affects the the stick. So yeah, or else we could put uh, Velcro, sew it onto here and onto here, and then stick it onto here and onto here. There's a way to uh, to secure that yeah, cushion. There's adhesive Velcro that you can stick to here and here, or else use some sort of glue, okay. and then sew two strips to here. Okay. All right. That's you know a possibility that you wouldn't have to undo these, but either way, you're gonna have to have the seat off for you know bringing it down kind of thing. Okay. I'm gonna try to lubricate this fuel valve. Uh, lubricate the. Uh... I'm gonna take this cotter pin off here and disconnect this U joint because I think that's just a kind of a crappy angle for that. That might be causing us some degree. Right. So that is gonna be. I disconnected that shaft. I'm just gonna shoot you. Yeah, shaft, I, the shaft you disconnected. This is the shaft I disconnected yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to see if this turning when it's straight turns any freer. Okay. But I'd like to get something that I can put over that. That's just like, looks like a quarter drive extension. Quarter basically. drive extension? Yeah. All right. I'll we'll get that. It almost needs to be lubricated inside. Weirdest thing why we can't get the anti-collision light going. Norman lamp. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming out, eh? No problem. Mm. How'd you make up with that uh, the lease thing we were going to talk about that lease thing? Hanger lunch. There's a battery tester on the seat of the Kubota if you want to test it. Working. <laughs> yeah. And All right. <laughs> okay, there's one <laughs> success of something we were trying to uh, to fix. Nice. Now I'll let you do this. I see where the red one is. That's the red, yeah. Okay, and so take light. that. The red, are you uh -oh. on the red one is? Oh yeah, it's right, right there, right? The 20, 22 to 18, yeah. right? Yeah. And now, oh. Higher or lower? We like trying to get the, the interior map light to work. Okay, we're gonna fill the rest of the plane with the big fuel bowser here when Rick gives the instruction to go. Okay, coming!
Okay. That's ten, Rick. Fuck. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No good in here. Okay, we got most all the work done we needed to on the airplane today. Just never got to dealing with the winch and the hangar, so um, waiting for a warmer weather. <laughs>